Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It kind of feels weird saying that because I don't have good news. So I guess the news isn't going to be... Well, it isn't good news anyway. So regardless, no good news um, or any news. Well, I did get some news, but they were kind of like dead ends. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Cookie flew away. Now I'm going to kind of take you guys back and explain it from the beginning so it makes a lot of sense. On July 2nd, um, early morning, not early, probably like close to afternoon, I fed Cookie. Um, she, I'm just going to use she pronouns because I didn't know the gender, but she was getting fed three times a day. So morning, kind of, kind of like morning, afternoon, night, let's just, to make it simple for you guys, that's that's about how many times she was getting fed um, she was trying um, very soft food and she was just trying millet just a few times I mean she wasn't able to really eat anything hard at all um, it would be very soft soft food um, and so she she ate and then um, I play with my birds and Cookie was not an exception to that so I was playing with Cookie and just this one time I, I think after I fed her I didn't check the door and it was like this much of a gap and obviously this much is enough for a bird to kind of squeeze in and fly and that's exactly what happened I was quick to react I I was out right away um I already had a hoodie on so I was out right away I was I could clearly see Cookie, she was in the air, um, I saw her rotate three times and then I lost complete sight of her, um, and yeah, yeah, that was, that was about it, and I don't know about everyone else, maybe if you free fly your birds, which I'm not against it, but maybe you're used to seeing a bird fly like that, but I didn't know birds especially cookie because cookie was a baby i didn't think that they would fly that high i mean she there's actually wild birds um she flew very high it was so high i was kind of taken back from that <coughs> excuse me so yeah, I don't want to even edit this video to be honest. I'm just going to put it up on my channel as it is. At least it's going to be as raw as it possibly can be. And hopefully the audio is good. If it's not, I don't know, I probably won't be uploading. And great, there's an airplane. Just when I was going to say something important. So yeah, um... I fed her, we were playing, and we were playing for about 5-10 minutes, and she just kind of flew out, pretty much she flew out, and I reacted fast, but after three, three kind of turning in the air, if you know what I'm saying, she, I kind of, I lost sight of her, so when I lost sight of her, I didn't even know what direction she went in, which was very scary for me, because I didn't know which direction to go in. Because, uh, I don't even know. I didn't know what, like I'm just being 100% honest. I don't know where she flew um, or where she landed. And then I rotated around my neighborhood quite a lot of times. I was hoping that she was in my very close neighborhood, a few blocks, and she wasn't. That night I spent the whole day searching for her. I probably walked like well over like 10 miles. I'm not even kidding you. I walked a lot. I searched everywhere I possibly can be can look for I don't know you get what I'm saying and that day I didn't put any flyers up because I wasn't thinking oh you know let me go home and then take a rest and print flyers open a word document that that wasn't in my mind so when I came home it was around like 10 30 and then I opened a word document and said hey you know if I'm gonna go in certain neighborhoods given the situation that we are in because of the pandemic people were not gonna be as willing to have me in their neighborhood so I might as well put flyers so if they were to see the flyers at least they would know that that bird is mine anyway I had a lot of neighborhood um, neighbors who were really nice 
and I also had a lot of neighbors who weren't really as supportive. I also had a lot of people mocking me, making fun of me, which is kind of sad because I don't get it. Like, I don't buy birds because of my YouTube channel. I don't buy birds because it's, it's, I don't, they're not a toy to me. I mean, having pets, the way I look at it is a luxury. It really is. If you could own a pet, it's a luxury. It's not a necessity. So for me, it means a lot. Like I, I don't know. It means a lot to me. I mean, I can't judge anyone else and why they would want pets. But for me, they're my family. So losing one obviously was devastating. And then not being able to find Cookie up until now, it's it's really hard and I don't know how to even process that because it was completely my responsibility. I fed it literally when you think about it. I fed it from very few weeks old until somewhat close to weaning stage and then I lost it. Now that to me is very hard. I mean I'm sure it's very hard regardless of what bird you have but it, it was just so hard to cope with that and then yeah and then it was just hard i i put up posters everywhere i also put up ads on instagram i can't talk about everyone's instagram account and how it works but in mine it's kind of connected to my facebook account because facebook owns instagram and i could put adsense mo not adsense money just any ad money on it and then i could do it locally or with the regional anyway you get the idea and no it was locally yeah kind of yeah, you can see I'm not going to even edit this video. So what was happening is that I was making the um, missing post of my Instagram post um, seen on my Instagram to people who were in my area. So anyone who had Instagram that was in my very close area was able to see that picture because it was almost like a sponsored post. And then I did the same with um, Facebook. The reason is because both platforms kind of have different age groups. Now, I'm not trying to put shade to anyone. Most Instagrammers are younger audiences and most Facebook users. And that's for me. I, I have it for business, business reasons, but most Facebook users are a bit more mature in age. So I just wanted to put it on both ends to see maybe, you know, if it's a younger person, <clears throat> that younger person, <clears throat> my voice is being all whack but a younger person would have you know if they seen my bird i could you know it would help that way and then if someone older or mature in age they would have been able to see it on my facebook so i put ads multiple of them i also put ads on kijiji so <clears throat> the way you could do it is that you could kind of make it urgent ad top post ad home page ad i did all of those um I paid well over $350, I think, to be honest, it's probably well over $400 at this point because even yesterday, and that's only in ad money. Um, with the flyers, um, I printed well over 200 I literally did the best I can, and I'm not even saying that in a bragging way, but it kind of sucks because I know so many people who, because I'm on Facebook groups, um where if someone misses an animal you could kind of post it over there and then some people they were doing the bare minimum but they were able to find their birds within like a couple of hours or two three days and i honestly felt quite helpless knowing that it's been so long and i couldn't find her no one came forward i couldn't spot her um, I let my vets know, I let my surrounding vets know, but legally in Canada, if you have a missing animal, uh, they have to report it. Um, so it would have been in the database, which I already am, I, I reported a missing animal. And on top of that, they have helping, was it help with pets, helping with pets. I'll still have those down below, just in case, I don't know if someone's watching this video, it might help them, I don't know. Um, clearly... I I couldn't find my bird so yeah all these steps are great ways to find your bird they don't necessarily mean you're gonna find your bird so yeah I like I don't know man like I I honestly it sucks to even say I did my best because 
I always feel like I could have done one more this one other thing which I feel like at this moment there's this one neighborhood that I didn't go to just in case I'm gonna go there so I did um, I did staples um, because my printer broke down so yeah after you print 200 pages of flyers I guess my printer is like I'm out um, and I bought Costco inks you could just take your ink cartilage to Costco um, they were surprised because they're like why is she coming back every like day <laughs> Um, and my printer broke so at that point I I don't know what to do so I'm gonna actually go to Staples um, I did like a pre-order thing so the next day I could go pick it up um, I'm gonna print quite a bit of pages I think it was 150 or 200 I don't remember um, that cost it like 80 bucks or so it wasn't too much anyway um, so I'm gonna put it in that neighborhood um, and the reason why I am gonna do that one because I want to do absolutely everything I can I know the odds of me finding cookie at this point are slim and I'll explain why because some people are gonna be surprised that I even said that because it sounds like I'm not hopeful but there's reasons why I'm saying that I want to put it in that neighborhood just in case because on the Facebook ad this woman found her son Conyer again in the Toronto area and the reason why she found it is because she didn't go to this one neighborhood and in that neighborhood although it was close to her area she didn't think her bird could fly that far but what happened is that an elderly found it and the reason why the elderly because she also put I think it on Facebook on Instagram because the reason why that elderly couldn't find it is because she had no social media so in in a way, there's always this one hope that maybe someone in my neighborhood has cookie. The reason is most people in my neighborhood, I'm not throwing any shade to people in my neighborhood, they're more mature in age. A lot of them are elderly. So there's also younger families too, but most, I would say a huge part of us are more mature in age and I'm talking like 45 over. So maybe someone doesn't have Kijiji, someone doesn't have Facebook, Instagram, or something like that. So maybe they can't, they don't know who it belongs to. So my, I, that's like one thing I'm going to do. I don't know, I don't think so I'm going to find Cookie. I don't want to be a downer, but I'm probably not going to be able to find her. And I don't want to be a downer, but there's two options, quite literally one cookie landed on someone or went to someone and cookie was even though she was a baby she was tame so she wasn't scared of humans she's a baby she would go to anyone so the advantage of that is i hope that she went to someone the problem is with that is that because cookie was still being fed on soft food i don't know if that person really knew how to care for a baby bird and maybe they took her in and she passed a couple days later because Pretty much she was starving even though it was inside a home um could have happened most likely could have happened and if she didn't land on anyone and if she's out and about i guess it would be in science it would be a scientific anomaly for a cookie to survive i had to come to terms with that and it's quite hard and i'm not gonna cry but um, the reason is is because cookie was not hand fed. It wasn't like blossom. My beautiful cockatiel, my first cockatiel, went out and she knows how to eat. Uh, she knows what even water looks like. Like if she saw something with water, blossom would know. Hey, one, I'm gonna bathe in it. Two, I could drink it. Cookie doesn't know any of that. Cookie doesn't. I think with most birds, they don't they might not know those but they might kind of slightly adapt um to the environment and cockatiel are sturdy animals but again it goes back to me saying that cookie was a baby she didn't have those survival instincts and she wasn't even weaned off formula so it sucks and like there's nothing I feel like I could do other than doing what I am already doing. Um, I already said on my Instagram post that I'm not going to search for cookie anymore by foot. 
let me just get that out there I won't be looking for cookie by foot anymore I walk every day for two weeks miles and miles typically we're there one to two miles away from their area every day I was walking five to six miles I literally couldn't spot her I couldn't find her and I I I think I just feel defeated and like like I failed in a way I pretty much failed finding her and like it's probably hard for me to even make this video and say hey guys yeah this is what it it sucks so bad because I shared a huge part of and I know you guys love cooking like I shared a huge part of our life with my YouTube community, with my TikTok little community there, with my Instagrammers, my friends, everyone knew her, she grew up with you guys and I know it's hard for you guys as well and it's hard for me too but, and I don't want to say it is what it is and I'm just going to completely quit and not look for her, just kind of bounce, no. Um, I'm still gonna look for her it's just that it's gonna be through online sources or putting ads up so I'm still gonna put ads up I don't know at this point like I don't know um, there's still ads in my neighborhood I walk by them I see them quite a few of my neighbors know about it um, I don't think it's in my neighborhood um, so it's probably gonna be somewhere a bit further away from me if she did land in someone's home or someone's house It's probably gonna be somewhere further away from me. I'm hoping that she took shelter So just for that one last hope of attempt. I am gonna put posters in those neighborhoods that I didn't actually I walked there, but I didn't put posters there. So that's why posters are important because I am just a stranger walking into someone's neighborhood. They they might not even know why I'm walking. Like, I don't have a poster on me. So, and it's not like everyone's outside their house. You know, like, they don't know why you're there. They just might think, oh, she's just walking away. Um, so, like, I have to put posters, obviously, for someone to see that there's a missing bird. And, like, after that, it's just going to be through online sources. Um... I don't, I don't want to sound so defeated, but I think that given the situation, it even, it's so hard to even say this verbally, but it is harder for me to even, oh, I thought a butterfly came to me, but it's harder for me to come to terms with it, so, yeah, like, I just want to keep people updated. I don't even know. I'll still have my information down, the video. Maybe not my phone number, but like my email address or something. Um, and I've had people being very helpful. Thank you for all of you who have been very helpful. Some people were sending me um, pictures, but they were pictures from a missing bird in America or something. Cockatiels can't fly within those few days to America. It's, it's not that's not the case guys um she's in Toronto I just don't know where um, so yeah I, I do want to give you guys a little bit of update before kind of moving forward um, and um, moving for I don't even know what moving forward would mean I don't know but yeah I I didn't want to kind of continue on making videos without even addressing the few issues the major issue or the pressing thing that happened so yeah um i'm not gonna edit this video this is literally how i talk i look around i look like a weirdo um most of the time it's not i'm not trying to make this perfect video so people could understand me very well um it's it is the situation is what it is i don't want to make a fancy video for you guys i mean yes i i care a lot about putting videos on my channel that are aesthetically pleasing but i guess i'm sure you guys understand given the situation i don't want to go home and i am home actually and edit a video and 
it just seems so pretentious I don't know so this is a very raw unedited maybe even a very boring boring video and I, so some of you might not know I guess but I think most of you know I uploaded a video before this one I actually privated that video because I looked so miserable and I am miserable but at least I could contain my emotions um, and I think I was so devastated because I've had birds passed away Snowy and Limon as some of you guys know but the one thing I am so confident when it comes to keeping my birds is vet bills like in my area, just for a vet to see one bird, it's typically around 90 to $95. I go to an avian vet, it's a specialized vet, and that's a no, it's not a big charge for me. And I do that every six months for all four of my birds. You could do the math, I'm, I'm kind of lazy. So it's slightly over like close to $400, given that I have four birds every six months, I take it. So every year, roughly just on vet bills, I'm spending roughly around like $800. So financially I will say like and I'm not saying this in a bragging way I don't have a hard time giving my birds vet care that's like that's so that's like the least of my concerns and it isn't like I don't know like it's the least of my concerns so it makes it so hard because I don't even have a bird like I can't even provide vet care I can't like I'm literally helpless like like I don't know Sometimes I'm so happy, sometimes I'm not happy, but I guess some stuff happened for a reason and I'm trying my best, guys. I, I genuinely am, but I just, yeah, I don't, this is the end. I don't know what to say. Cookie's not here. I don't know if I have any major updates. I'll let you guys know. I keep most of you guys updated on my Instagram. So if you don't have my Instagram, I don't, I guess. If you want updates, go there, but I haven't been getting any updates. I got some, but like they're kind of like false leads. So up until now, I, I don't have any news. So yeah. Thank you for listening this long. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I disappointed a lot of you guys.